My name's Chris Griswold. I'm an improv teacher. Uh, when I was seven, I was diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. At the time, it was called hypoactive. Now it's called inattentive type. Uh, as a teenager, I was diagnosed with depression, later classified as dystymia, which is a nice base coat of depression. Uh, and then in my 20s, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. I don't like calling it mental illness because I don't feel sick. Uh, the thing that I came around to understanding was that a lot of the things that make me special and make me talented and make me, um, you know, a, a value to myself and to others are derived from the things that make life difficult for me at times. So it's not that there's something wrong with me, it's that there's, I just have a different set of circumstances. People with ADHD can read each other, can read other people's body language very quickly. Uh, we make good teachers and counselors. Um, people with depression, it, depression lends itself to comedy. That's why you hear about so many comedians that are depressed, because you, it kind of gets you out of the lockstep of how everybody else is moving, and you can look at things from a different perspective. And bipolar disorder, if you can, if you can harness it, you can be very productive. And I have been very productive recently. I just feel like I've taken the aspects of my life that at times have, have made it miserable and I've turned them into uh, big benefits for myself, actually. I just followed the things that were important to me and, and my skills and I, I've found a life and a career that is um, really, really, it really fits with who I am. And it is a process, it's a process. It's a really hard process. Um, and what it takes is taking a hard look at yourself and caring about yourself and trying to figure out what you need, reaching out to anyone that will listen, going to counseling, going to, going to therapy, getting medication if need be. It is a process. You are in the act of becoming you and things wear away at you, but you become you. And it's important, it's, it's, it makes you so much stronger in the end. And that's the thing I wanna say, is that it's not that life gets easier, it's that you get smarter, you get stronger, you start to check in with yourself, you care about yourself more. You look at the things that are scary and frustrating and make you angry, and you take care of yourself and life gets better because you are okay.